This huge fire damaged multiple apartment units in Nuuanu this morning. 15 people are displaced tonight. None of them died, but a family lost their puppy in the fire. Sarah Madison has more. Fire officials say the blaze started in one of the second story units and consumed most of the top floor. An active power line also caught fire. Officials say two people, a woman and her child, were home at the time of the fire. They were living in one of the bottom units and managed to escape on their own. Sadly, a puppy living upstairs couldn't get out. The owner of the puppy, who did not want to go on camera, tells us Leohu was only two months old. Her mother was able to jump out of the second story window to escape the flames. Neighbors closest to the blaze got out safely, but it was a close call. I just looked outside and the whole building next to us was just all smoking. And then I grabbed my two dogs, I grabbed my baby. I saw the flames all up on the, uh, the second floor. I mean, it was huge. They were absolutely enormous. After about half an hour, the fire was extinguished. There's no known smoke detectors in the building as of now, but we want to make sure that the public, please make sure that you have a working smoke alarm. Smoke alarms do save lives. 15 people are without a home, and those living on the second floor lost everything. But in a time of despair, the Hongwanji Mission School just down the street lent a helping hand. Since it was almost lunchtime, all of the young kids who were in the apartment building that came out, we, we brought them lunch, we brought them slippers to make sure that they'd be safe and at least have something to eat, because it would probably be a while until they got into their apartments again. Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News.